The curious amongst you might have wondered what Farah's best-selling watch is. Well, it's this, the Lander GMT. The Lander has been a staple of our range for a while now, and it's currently on its fourth generation. Like all our watches, it blends eye-catching colours with classic design elements to produce a watch that's both beautiful and quirky. However, that doesn't mean that this watch is gimmicky in any way, and we've taken great care to make sure that it's also a very practical and highly legible watch too. Though the Lander's dial is very easy to read, we've also packed it with details that make the watch really interesting to look at. Firstly, the dial is triple steps to give it some subtle depth. Next is the dial finish, which is a rich sea green sunburst that shimmers in the light. This is framed by a crisp white outer minute track that complements the white printing on the dial. And when it comes to that printing, the first thing that jumps out at you are the bold Arabic numerals. These have a base of superluminova that's then overprinted with gloss white so that the outline is what glows in the dark. Around these is printed the 24 hour scale for the GMT, which also has loom plots at each hour position so that the GMT can be used during both night and day. There's also a discrete date window at 3 with a clean beveled edge and a colour match date wheel to make sure it fits in seamlessly with the overall design. The hour and minute hands are Farah's classic syringe style and they have a frosted silver finish and are filled with superluminova. Alongside these is an orange seconds hand and a classic GMT hand in a shade that we call post box red. Naturally, we chose a domed sapphire crystal to protect this dial and handset, and it features an internal anti-reflective coating to minimise any glare you might experience from sunlight. Now, before we move on to talk about the other aspects of the lander, I want to quickly cover what a GMT function is and how to use it. Because if you're new to the world of watches, then it's something that you might not have come across before. And if that's the case, then don't worry, because a GMT complication is simply a way to track a second time zone using a dedicated GMT hand and a 24-hour scale. To set the lander's GMT, you simply pull out the crown to the first position and wind it clockwise to advance the GMT hand around the dial. Then, using the 24-hour scale, you set the GMT hand to the correct hour of the second time zone you're looking to track. Push the crown back in, and you're all set. For example, if it's 6am in the second time zone, you move the GMT hand to the 6 on the 24-hour scale. And if it's 6pm, you move it to the 18 on the 24-hour scale. The GMT hand will make one rotation of the dial every 24 hours, allowing you to track the exact time in the second time zone with ease. Turning to the rest of the watch, the lander's case measures 39.5mm in diameter with a 45mm lug-to-lug -lug and a thickness of just 10.8mm. As you can imagine, with dimensions like these, the watch wears rather nicely on the wrist, and thanks to the shorter lug-to-lug -lug distance, it will fit a wide range of wrist sizes. In order to give the watch a smart, casual look, the tops of the lugs are brushed, with the bezel and case sides having a mirror polish. And as a finishing touch, the crown is inset with a bronze cap embossed with the Farah A. Now, powering the lander is the reliable Solita SW330-2. This Swiss-made automatic calibre has 25 joules, a beat rate of 28,800 beats per hour, and a 56-hour power reserve. It's the logical choice for our flagship GMT, and we've chosen the top-grade version of the SW330, which has been adjusted in five positions. It also has a quick-set date, hacking seconds hand, and of course a GMT hand for tracking a second time zone. You can watch the movement in action through the Lander's exhibition case back, as well as admire the caliber's unique winding rotor and elaborate decoration. The Lander is priced at £1,225 or $1,450 or €1,400, Euros, depending on your location, and there's our usual selection of leather, rubber and mesh straps to choose from. Furthermore, each watch has its own unique serial number, and you can choose your preferred number from those available on the product page. 
You can read more about the lander on our website and I'll leave a link down in the description below. Don't forget to let us know what you think of our bestseller in the comments and if you enjoyed the video please give it a like. As always thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.